That was like a false start. It says quality good. Go, okay. <laughs> All right, guys, we are live. I am Daniel Norton here at my studio in New York City with Farrah. And we are going to do a single light portrait shoot uh, today. This is one of the, the fun ones, right? We haven't done this in a while, so welcome back. Seth is, oh, hold on, I got to watch a commercial. Joel Grimes. Yep, hey, Joel Grimes, you are awesome. Yes. Let me skip this. Hold on. Oh, there I am talking to myself. Uh, how do I kill the volume? Oh. I swear I've done this before. Hey, guys. Seth's in the chat room to take care of all that nonsense, but I will try to check as much as I can. And we're going to go through some, uh, some simple setups uh, using one light to kind of get back into the flow. And hopefully we're going to start doing a lot more of these again. So uh, stand by for that. Uh, okay, here we go. Let's just see if there's any initial things I need to deal with. Excited. Good, good, good. All right. Tired, but staying up. All right. All right. Let's make it worthwhile for you then. All right, so as usual, I am here tethered into Capture One. You can't see it, but it's right there. Um, and what I'm gonna do is, I'll just do this now, is I'm gonna put it, this, that, there, this, that, there. Actually, this, that, there, this, that, there. I'm just playing a video game, guys, don't worry about it. All right, so I'm tethered into Capture One. We're going to make shots. You guys will be able to see them as we go and, uh, you know, and ask questions and such. Now, as you may know, I, I've said before that if I only had one light to use, if I, you know, if you were just shooting with one light, my favorite modifier is the three-foot octagon, which I have over here. Da, 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 da. By the way, I'm using a rolling stand. So, guy who commented last time about why don't I get a rolling stand? <laughs> this is a three-foot octagon. Uh, so. Normally when you're gonna make a portrait, right, you kind of soft light, that is light that wraps around and is gentle on the face is, is gonna be your go-to, right? So a relatively big light source is gonna be good for that. Three feet's pretty big. I haven't met anybody whose head is bigger than three feet. <laughs> Seth sometimes says that my head is bigger than three feet, but generally it's not. Um, so this is gonna be soft because it's bigger than what it is that we're photographing. So I've got a Profoto B1X in here. Um, when we're making a portrait, what we're going to want to do is, generally anyways, we're going to want to bring our light source up above our subject, right? Because generally, light comes from above. We think about light coming from above. Oh, speaking of that, i got to turn the light on. There we go. <laughs> now you can see me better. Okay, so light's going to come from above. It's going to seem nicer that way, right? We're going to create wherever there's not light, there's going to be shadow, right? So this is really important when you only have one light because if I take my, my light and I put it way over here on the side of Farah, and I shoot, you know, she's looking straight forward, this whole side of her is gonna be in shadow, right? You might want that and you might not. And it really comes down to what you want. I mean, if she's gonna look that way, clearly that's different. So we'll play around with all kinds of different stuff, but actually let's just start that way because usually when I say something that you shouldn't do, I just then do it. All right, so what we're gonna do first is set our camera so that as little as possible, now I say as little as possible because this is a pretty bright space. So I'm not gonna shoot at F16 or something. I don't really need to. I'm shooting with flash. There is daylight coming in. It matches in color. We're actually gonna use it to our advantage, right? The light is coming from this side because that's where the windows are, right? So I'm gonna put my flash on that side. So it all kind of works together. And we're gonna get it pretty dark. I'm gonna go, uh, one, one sixtieth of a second, F8, uh, 100 ISO, and we're going to shoot a shot with no flash, and we're going to see how dark it is. Well, it's actually pretty dark, guys. It's actually pretty dark. So there it is. We can still see her a bit, though. You know, um, if I were to grab my exposure slider, which is over here, and start to bring it up, we can see she starts to come up only about a stop under. So that's not tremendously uh, dark, right? If, if, let's say, the color of the light that we're using, let's say we're, that all this light out here was you know, not matching our light, let's say it was really, really the end of the day and it was super warm, it didn't really match our flash, I might want to go darker, we might go to like F11, but I think F8 is good though. I'm not going to worry too much about it. All right, so it's the first, first time back. We're not going to worry about it. 
So using TTL or through the lens metering, I'm going to, uh, actually I'm using spot metering. I have a video coming out about this. <laughs> I'm gonna set it on spot metering. I'm gonna put the spot on her face and I'm going to make a shot with the flash. Right. And we can see it's kind of dark, right? Kind of moody. You might want that. This could be the style for you. But because of her hairstyle, which is awesome, I have no hair blocking in my face, but you should get the hair wrapping around. We can see that what's happening here is while her skin tone is, is nice, uh, her eyes are maybe a bit too much in the shadow because of the position of our light relative to her hair. So she could turn towards the light. That would help, right? There you go, right? I know it's amazing. You can ask people to move and they do. It's crazy. You know, but the same thing would happen if we move the light. Like, let's say you want that shot of her looking straight ahead. We would just move the light to, to basically give us the same effect. So we can see here that wherever there's not light, there's shadow, right? So we've got this darkness. We've got this mood. It's got a certain ambience to it. And you can see that I have this gray paper in the background. The gray paper is effectively black. Okay. Let's take a quick look at the good. All right, let's see, anything. Do I have a new tripod? Nope, same tripod. It's a Manfrotto something something tripod. 55, I think it's called. Uh, I don't have event space, I don't know. Uh, cool. All right. That's, uh, we, gotta, we gotta keep a record of how many shots we got. That's one, we'll just call it one. I mean, you could call it two if you like that first one, but we'll say, we'll call it one. Let's do this. I like you looking off to the side, but maybe not with your eyes looking to the side. Look where your nose is. Okay. So, you know, so turn your face this way, but then look this way with just your eyes. There you go. What that will do, guys, oh, let me make sure I get this in the right spot. Oh, oh well, that's your eyes closed, but all right, try again. Open. Oh, there you go. Not at your nose, but in the direction of it. Okay. Yeah. Don't look at your nose, you'll get across that. If, you, if she looks at her nose, that's a good way to get people to look like that. She's kind of got that moody. That's got that like 1970s album clever vibe going on, right? She's like, I'm chilling. No, just look straight out. Yeah. No, face. Yeah, and then eyes straight ahead of you. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Oh, little double tap, no extra charge for that. Yeah, see, we're seeing that her eyes now. Yeah, you see that. You see what I did I there. See what I did there, but I see what we did. Yeah. People have a tendency when you ask them to turn their head to like really throw their eyes too far. They go, they're like, oh. Yeah. So generally you want people looking in the direction of their face because that typically looks nicer, but you know, whatever you like. I'm kind of digging this. I'm kind of digging it. Kind of. Yep. Now you'll notice two things here. One is that we have a grid. Right? What the grid's doing is it's narrowing our spread of light. Remember, I'm in a studio with the white floors and white walls. If I, if I don't have this grid on here, there's potential for light to really bounce around and for me to lose control of it. Or if I want more light to bounce around, I can remove the grid. But we're not going to because grids are really expensive and once you put it on there, you should just use it. I mean, it's basically a... But the other thing is we've got it kind of really to the side. What if we move it more in front of her, right? We can kind of do the same thing, but we can move our light more forward. You know, people have this tendency to like really want to put, put the light right at the subject, right at them. But the reality is that your modifier is throwing the light out, even with the grid. So by doing that, oh, I guess we take a picture from here. By doing this, you're doing that thing again with your eyes. No, your whole, fa whole face. Bring your whole face over here. Whole face, there you go. And then your eyes, boom, there you go. Boom. Oh, okay. Ah, a little dark there. You know what? Because I have it on spot metering, which I don't really like to do. Um, I'm going to switch back to matrix. Also, let me make sure I don't have any exposure compensation on, which I sometimes do. All right, I'm going to switch back to matrix metering, which I find works better generally. If I actually switch it, it works better anyways. Yeah, there we go. Matrix. Good, perfect, there it is, all right, good. All right, so it looks like we're coming in a little dark here. I'm gonna actually give us about a stop of light. 
The TTL is, is giving me a hard time today. It's like, Daniel, you haven't used me in a while, and you know what? I've got to warm it up. So I'm going to actually just give myself some flash exposure compensation. And we'll juice it up at one stop. Let's see what we get. There we go. So that's flash exposure compensation. Basically, if you're getting a dark image with a TTL, oh, wow, that shine is really specular and beautiful. Uh, if you're getting like uh, your image is too dark with TTL, it's not like, oh, abandon TTL. You can use the exposure compensation to get where you want to be. Now that I'm kind of where I want to be, I can throw it into manual, which is what a lot of people will do, especially in the studio. And now we can actually tweak it to our delight. Right, like that. And that gives us nice, good, shadowy, moody light from one side, but even and beautiful on the face, you know, and of course on the body. Cool, that makes sense, right? All right, let's quickly look here. This is where I would normally drink coffee, but I don't. Uh, well, before you, blah, 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 okay, missing all that. Uh, huh. My audio is peaking. Oh, I'm probably yelling because the air conditioner is on. Let me turn the audio down. How's that? See if we're peaking there. I brought the audio down a bit. We'll leave that up for a second. Yeah. Huh. I have a feeling I'm yelling. Well, it's peaking. It's not that I, I mean, I am yelling. I am yelling, but it's peaking. Yeah. 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 All right, so I'm going to start wrapping the light around more. We're going to switch modifiers in a second, but as we start to bring it around more to the front, our shadows are going to start to drift, right? So we can get more and more light onto the front of her while she's looking in the direction of the camera. So let's do this. Good. And there we go, right? Now our light's becoming flatter, right? It's coming from the front more. By her turning her head, we're getting uh, you know, it's a nice shadow over here, but the light's essentially in the front of her, which typically creates a more flat image. Also, you'll notice the background's getting light on it now because the light's throwing itself back. So depending on how you want to uh, work here, this one seems a smidge dark. Let me just bring that up so that can be comparable. You know, you've got two different kind of uh, feelings just by moving the light off to the side. And again, that's even with the grid. We can actually, <clears throat> if we want to make the background darker again, what we can do is move the light closer to her using the inverse square law. You know, you know, the inverse square law. Inverse square law. You know the inverse square law? Oh, I left it in manual, so it's probably going to be too hot. Yeah, it's a little too hot. Let's, let's, let's bring it back down to, to TTL. Let's go again. Yeah, there we go. There it is. Nice. Right, now we brought it back around to the front, right? Again, more punchy, but like that. Now it's generally low, okay. Uh, okay. Whew. Getting the audio to be correct is tricky. I probably just turned the air conditioner off, but it is hot in here. It is hot in here, even with the air conditioner going. Yeah, we're dying over here. <laughs> uh, turn the volume up a little bit. Yeah, okay. I split the difference. I moved it up, it was at plus six. Uh, I moved it to plus three. Cool, all right, awesome, right? We're moving it around, we're changing the feel of it. A lot of times I would go more centered, as I've mentioned before, when shooting a female subject, kind of in a more beauty position. But since we're gonna do that, you know what we could use? Beauty dish. A beauty dish, that's right. So, Sometimes in photography, right? It's weird. They make products and they put the word on it, right? Yeah. So like if you want to shoot beauty, like literally you could use this soft light reflector. Okay. <laughs> it's not actually called a beauty dish. It's called soft light reflector. Don't tell anybody. It's a secret. Okay. <laughs> All right. So somebody's going to ask. Always somebody asks, so I will answer. 
this arm that I'm using is, has a magic finger from Matthews. And you will watch this and think it's the best thing in the world. And then you will cry when you see it's $169. But I will tell you that it's worth it. Ain't, ain't nothing better than a magic finger. Okay. All right, so if we're going to do a more central light, again, whenever you're booming out your light, you want to keep it over the long leg. I'm going to bring in the, the beauty dish, which I think is nicer for this. It's a little bit of a smaller of a light. It's going to give us more shape, more contrast. Shadows are going to drop off uh, abruptly. When people ask you like, what kind of photography you can do, you'd be like, well, you know what, I do uh, the beauty. Right? There you go. I mean, you got the dish. Is that centered on you? More or less? Yeah. All right, that's pretty good. Huh. No, you're generous. That's not centered. She was being generous. That wasn't centered. There we go. You can tell me when I'm not centered. She's throwing out terminology. She's like, oh, yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> All right, beauty dish, right? Beauty dish is punchy, right? Look at how quickly it falls off. This also has a grid on it, by the way. Punchy, punchy light. Really good when you want to put it up close. I'm hoping the audio is better now. He's a sucker for that. Oh, what did I do? Uh, oh, combine natural light with one light. We are going to do that, actually. I am definitely going to combine natural light. All right, so I'm going to move this closer to you because that's generally what I want to do with Beauty Dish. Okay. Closer is better. Gotcha. Just like with microphones. Uh, not as censored, but it's probably sort of... All right, here we go. We're going to tip this here. Yep, it's going to be contrasty. And then we're going to throw a reflector in. I know, it's crazy. It's crazy. Getting innovative today. We are not messing around. All right, we got this, guys. It's tricky with no coffee, believe me. All right, I'm gonna come a little closer because it's a beauty shot. Well, more or less a beauty shot. All right, beauty dish. Again, we're in TTL again. We're set a little, let me go back to zero, actually. I'm gonna see what it gives us, then we're gonna adjust. I always press the shutter button there when I probably should press the... Uh... Oh, I did it. Okay, so did it give us what we want? Okay, it's a little dark, but not really, actually. I just think it's the angle because you weren't ready. Yeah, all right. So it's a little bit hot down here, but a little bit dark at the top, and that's because of the angle. Uh, yeah, so drop your chin up like this. Yep, bring your chin up. Yeah. Bring the light up so it matches. Gonna get matchy matchy. Okay, good. Here we go. All right, look at the camera. Here we go. Boom. That should be good. There it is, nice and even on the zip face. Again, it falls off really rapidly. We only have one light, so this is only gonna be good if we want to do like a, a really direct, her face is lit up and goes in the darkness type shot, right? We don't really want that necessarily, but let's just throw a reflector in. I'm going to throw in silver because we have a silver beauty dish. Do I got it. It's definitely going to be in the shot with this lens, though. Right, hold on. With the grid on, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this, but we'll try. We'll give it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's not going to do anything. I get it. Because I got the grid on there. Let's pull the grid. Let's add the reflector. All right, grid's off. Let's get back into position. Good, good, good. I'm actually gonna, yeah, that should be good. Again, I'm in TTL. There we go. You see, with taking the grid off makes a huge difference, opens it up, right? Now we're gonna add our reflector so we can bounce. I'm actually going to come in a little bit sideways like this, too. I feel like I'm so far away. With these vertical shots like the, like the old people. Nobody shoots vertical anymore. Okay, yeah, that's good. 
Okay, let's look. It's nice. Now let's add a reflector. Good, good, good. There we go. Now we got that. That's how we do it, right? So we see the difference there. Boom. Reflector, right? Fills in the, the shadow, gives us a little bit of uh, oomph. Oh, hey, Vanessa. Uh, OK, anything exciting? Nope, they're just talking about stuff, <laughs> which is good. All right. Oh, it's right here. Uh, you know what I'm going to do, actually? Since somebody asked for it, let's just do it. We're doing it. <laughs> We're getting it done. We're going off. Nobody's here to tell me I can't do it, so let's do this. Hold on. I think this camera will do it for us. OK. Let's shoot by the window as, far, as much as we can, anyways. I don't have that much cable. Let's put you over by the window. Uh, come over here. Yep, I know it's crazy. I don't know who else would be here. <laughs> All right. So we got windows. We got fair. We could do it a lot of different ways. We could. Just put them behind her, which we do a lot, actually. But let's put you near the window, so I'm going to use it as your light source, actually. Okay. So go closer to that one, so we, we can see which window is brighter, right? Well, keep going, know. keep going. Boom, you see, feel the light on you? Yeah, there we go. Uh, like yeah, come this way. Go back. Keep going. Right yeah, you feel it? Yep. Yeah. yeah, so I'm putting her in the light. <laughs> it's getting dangerous. It's OK, though. That's right. So let's see what this looks like. I'm going to turn off my flash for a second. I'm going to use the meter in the camera. And I'm going to adjust. Let's see. I'm going to open up to f4 at, let's say, 1 80th of a second. Let's just see what that looks like. Good. Now I have to walk really far. All right. So you know. You've got light. It's like, mm, whatever. But now we can bring our flash in. This is like the key here is that when we have flash, we can control this as much as we like. Um, let's use the flash as a fill, aka a fill flash. Now, I'm not going to use the beauty dish because you don't want your fill flash to be like this hard, punchy source when our natural flash coming from the window is soft. That doesn't make any sense. It'll look like somebody litter. What we want to do is make the room itself feel like it's brighter then nature would make it based on the current situation. So probably the simplest thing to do. If I want to be realistic, I would probably bounce the light off the floor. But if we give it too much light and you don't get the ratio right, she'll start having these weird upper shadows. So I'm going to actually bump, bounce it off the ceiling. That should do it for us. Now this may actually be too much. Because the light's going to come out of the flash head, so it might actually hit the side of her, too. So I'm going to roll it over here a bit. Let's put our modeling light on. Yeah, I can see it hitting you. Feel that? She feels it. All right. There's a whole lot of cords going on here. We got this. All right, if I just turn the flash on and I take a photo, that's going to look terrible, right? Because the flash is trying to become the main source. It just looks, it doesn't look that bad, actually. It looks, yeah, it's pretty bad. Well, we want the flash to be as a fill. So what we want to do is dial our flash down, uh, you know, so it's darker. Do your base TTL exposure, which is giving you like a normal exposure, and then figure out where you want your shadows to be. Let's say two stops under. So I'm going to take my light, I'm going to switch to manual, and I'm just going to dial it down two stops. And let's try that. There we go. That's better. Actually, I'm going to come up one stop just to show you guys the uh, range. Yeah, and we'll see. All right, now we can look at our balance, right, where we like it. So we've got no flash, way too much flash, 
maybe not enough flash, and then there it's balanced, right? This, look, this is better than, or just a little bit more flash than the natural, and it feels more natural in the space. Now, of course, you can customize it and make it look as pretty as you want, but that's basically the, the way to do it. I mean, probably a good way to do it would be to put a softbox on it. Let's try that too, because not everybody is in a white studio like I am, but you can just bounce the light all around. That should be fine. Come this way. It's always at this point in the thing where you think I'm going to drop the light. Someday I will, I'm sure. All right. So I'm just going to get this thing back up like this. It's backwards right now, currently. Spin it around. All right. You want to make sure that when you're using a, a, an arm like this, that when you're standing behind the light, the big knuckle is to your right. That's important. So if you flip the light around, make sure that you spin it that way. All right, this is a Shimera Pro 2 flat-faced softbox. One of my favorite boxes. It basically throws the light in a very wide pattern. It doesn't have a lot of control. And that's kind of the point. Seth is calling me. Something's going on. Oh, crap. What happened? I'm trying to tell you the chat. Oh, OK. Adorama watermark is blocking me. OK. Thanks. All right. Oh, also, I should probably be showing the pictures. I think I didn't show the pictures. Oh, no, I did. Crap, OK, hold on. Let's go like this. All right. I may not have switched there, guys. So you may have missed all those pictures. Is that true? OK, let me just quickly go through that, guys, because I think you may have. Oh, Seth, when you call me, you drop the Sling Studio from the thing. <laughs> no one is seeing the tether. Yep, I know. OK, you're five minutes behind. All right, so uh, I'm going to go back and just show this because uh, I didn't switch the camera. So this is, our, this is our basically our shot by the window with the natural light. This is too much flash, right? It's just, that's just letting the TTL do what it wants. Here it is where I turned it down two full stops, which I think is too much. And here's one stop. Again, it looks more natural, because if you look at this, you might not even think it was flashed. But then when you compare it to the non-flash shot, you can see how the shadows are filled in. It's just very, very subtle, but it's not pretty, right? It's just, I'm just kind of showing you the, the technique of it, right? So um, essentially, at this point, we're going to try to make it look nicer by switching to using a softbox as our, as, our, uh, as our fill. So I'm going to leave it like this, I guess. Uh, OK, I can't move myself to that side, so you guys can't see what I'm doing. All right, well, whatever. We'll figure it out. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Let's get you back over here. Now, there's a few different ways to do this, right? What we could do is put the box on the kind of the opposite side to fill in. Which would be fine, because this space has a bunch of windows, and we could probably make it feel real by doing that. However, what I like to do is try to, we know the light's coming from the direction of the window, so I want the fill to kind of feel like it's also just wrapping around. So instead of putting it over here, right, to fill in, I'm actually going to put it on the same side as the key, but out in front of her more. So I'm going to put it out here. So essentially, this light's just going to go past her. Let's see what this does. All right, so again, let's get back, be back in your spot. It looks good. Bring your face this way slightly. All right, so again, I'm going to kill the strobe for a second. I'm going to set my base ambient exposure. Take a shot. Make sure you guys can see it this time. Yep, you can, OK. OK, right, it's dark, right? We have the windows. Now, remember, if you want the windows to feel like your light source, they should be bright. Don't get the windows 
uh, dark because if you do, they don't feel like they're the light source, right? We want them to be bright. But the whole thing looks a little flat. Turn your face this way one more, towards the soft box. I'm going to switch back to TTL. I'm going to let it do its thing first. Let's see what it does. OK. 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 That's actually not a terrible, terrible exposure there. I feel like it's a little much, though. So I'm just going to dial it down a bit so it feels a little more creamy. I'm going to switch over to manual. I'm going to go down one stop. Oh, sorry, a little double tap. Yep, we got that. Good. There we go. And now we've got a lit shot, right? She's got the crispness of the flash, but she doesn't have the, the you know, the, the flash look. Now, one thing I might do as well in this situation is I might have opened that other window. I mean, there's a lot of things we could do, right? If we open the other window, we could even add another flash from that side, although this is a one light demo, so I won't do that. But you could add another flash from the other side to make it feel like you've got the window light. I mean, technically, the sun's over here. There's no way she'd have a hair light, but you know, tell that to everybody in Hollywood. <laughs> Everybody's got a hair light in Hollywood. Um, and you can play around with this, right? We can move this even more to the side if we want. We'll get less fill if we do it this way, but it'll become more and more natural looking. You know, and now we've got more of a shaped light. Like now again, we have the power of the flash. Looks nice and crisp, right? But it's actually a flash because if you were to look, right? I know you're getting a light across your shirt now. Can you, where's that coming from? No, 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 there's light hitting you. In the... No, no. I'm trying to figure out where that light's Ah, fixed it. There we go. Um, all right, so again, I'll kill the flash just so you guys can see. This way slightly. Look right here with your eyes. There we go. Boom, let me do another one. That's without the flash. And same with the flash. All right, see the difference? And boom, right? This looks and feels like it could be lit by that window. But that's what the window light looks like, right? Big difference, big difference. It comes down to looking at your space, understanding what the light in the space is doing, and then using the flash to work with it and not against it. All right, a lot of questions, I think. Da -da 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 -da. What's happening? Yeah, I mean, keep in mind, guys, there's a five-minute delay or something. Well, I mean, not five minutes. There's like a, there's like a minute or a half delay. Uh, so let's see. Okay, so this is all just about how I didn't switch the thing. Well, that's good. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. Um, there we go. That's mixed with the window, right? We got... You don't want to... So when you're mixing your light... You don't want to make it feel wrong, right? Think about how the light would be in the space and then work with it that way, right? This is the natural light. And in fact, if I grab my exposure slider, right, we can see actually that it kind of looks the same, but what's the difference, right? The, in, the, in the one where I cranked the exposure, the windows have lost all texture and detail. Her skin's kind of uneven, right? It's not as nice, right? The flash looks like the window light, but is much more controlled and much nicer. That's really what we got going on there. All right, let's see. Uh, okay. Well, thanks, guys. Uh, so what you're doing is extending the wrapping of the light. Yeah, basically, exactly. And by doing that, um, by looking for natural, natural, <laughs> or existing patterns of light or positions of light, your, your lighting itself is going to look a lot more natural. One thing that you notice a lot, I think, and, and not to say that you can't do this as a style, is this light that just doesn't look right. Like sunsets behind people and they're strobed heavily. Like that just looks very fake. And if you're going for that, that's fine, but it's never going to look real. Because, you know, if the sun's behind somebody, it's not going to look that way. All right, let's, let's see what this looks like without the windows. Come back to the middle, please. Yeah. So I should point out also, guys, that there is a coffee right here that I cannot drink, and it is killing me. I know, huh? Uh, OK, cool. 
Give me one second. Let me grab the... Okay, good. Nope, I got it over here. All right, so... Uh, okay. Let's go with the... Uh, let's move her closer to the wall. Let's, let's do that. Let's go all the way back to the paper. Because the other thing that people uh, sometimes want to do is they want to let up a whole scene, right? It's one thing to get the background dark and be like, oh, well, oh, here. Hold on. Ah, I lost it. That's my old iPhone. Okay, sorry. Had a moment there. <laughs> okay, so, uh, <laughs> all right, so we have her here. I've got my softbox. Let's light both uh, Farrah and the background with one light. Now, keeping in mind that there's a few things that are going to happen here. The closer she is to the background, the more likely that you're going to get a shadow on the background. So you've got to either be OK with that or really finesse it. Right? And we'll play around with it a little bit. The other thing is, the closer she is to the background, the brighter it will be, relatively speaking, because it's in the same zone of light as her. So that's good if we want the background to be gray, which we do. So for instance, if I just take this and do a standard like 45, I don't know why I say standard 45. I don't think anybody actually puts the light here. Maybe somebody does. If you're that one person that does that, let me know. All right, here we go. I think I need to get a longer cable. Right, so there she is, looking all fiery. She's doing her thing. All right, I'm going to go back to F8 again at 1 uh, 160th of a second to get rid of the, the room. Let's turn on the flash. Again, I'm in TTL. Uh, I'm going to remove any exposure compensation, and let's just do a basic shot and see what we get. All right, and I will walk over here now and switch, because now I will remember to do it. There we go. All right, there you go, right? Pretty. Nice, soft, pretty light. A little bit of shadow. Almost Rembrandty, right? But again, we've got this shadow on the wall. The good thing is, is that this shadow is very, very open and diffuse because I'm using not only a relatively large box close to her, it's also, uh, like I said, the flat front soft box, so it's spreading the light everywhere. It's not boxing it in like a grid would. So in a, in a way, I almost have like a fade, which is fine. You know, again, if, you, uh, if you're okay with that. If you don't want a shadow on the background, your only real options are, remember, there's always gonna be a shadow where there's no light. So moving her away from the background, moving the light more to the side to throw the shadow to the side, coming in closer to her, going up real high with the light, all those things will move your shadow. And we'll play with a couple of them. Let's see. Enhancing the natural light. Yeah, <laughs> coughing the bloodstream, exactly. Uh, Oh, tethering over Wi-Fi. That's pretty cool. I keep meaning to try that tether tools thing, but I have not yet. It's rare that this happens. <laughs> Normally, I would roll the table, but I'm also doing a live stream. <laughs> so if you're doing a live stream, it's a little different than just actually doing photo shoots. So if I move the light to the side, right, that should throw some of our shadow off. Let's see what that does. Let's have you look this way, though, so we get light on your face and then bring your eyeballs here. There we go. Right? Now, the background has become, I mean, she has that glow behind her, but the background has become more even because of the positioning of our light. She almost has like a, uh, like, a, like a halo because some of the light is actually creeping behind her. It's a creep. I actually kind of like that. I kind of like it. And we'll do another one. I'm going to change it a little bit. There we go. See what I did there? One thing that people don't know about soft boxes, like you've probably seen this, right? I know, I know, it's crazy. And maybe you've seen this. Right, 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 right. But watch this. It's crazy. You can go any angle you want. Look at that, boom. I want to raise it a tiny bit. What's funny is that joke is not nearly as good with an octagon. All right. Eyes, eyes, eyes. Here we go. And there we go. I raised it a bit. You see how that's nicer on the face? There you go. 
So that changes our cheekbones, right? Right? See that? Low change action there. Yeah, it's really nice. I like that little. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. This is fun. I lost count of how many photos you've taken now because I know you said you count. I'm sorry, I lost count. Oh, we've lost count on how many? Well, different actions. Well, I mean, would you consider that different than this? Let's see what that does. I don't think this is going to be as nice, but let's try it. Oh, she got a little like hardcore with that one. Too much shadow on the face, right? Because your face is not this way, right? We bring your face that way. Do the same thing though. Uh, like, oh, what you were like. I don't know, you've had a little attitude. Angry. Yeah, she was like angry. Yeah, there she is, she's angry. She's mad. She's like, why are you turning the light like that? Nobody likes the light like that. <laughs> yeah, little differences. Actually, strangely enough, that just because the way your face turned to, you get a really good cheekbone there. That's how you get good cheekbones. I mean, not that you don't already have two cheekbones. Start with good cheekbones and then add good light. <laughs> uh, let's see. Strip, strip, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, bigger compared to that, yep. Closer to the light, the bigger the light. Wow, yeah, see, it's good to have Seth in the chat because then I don't have to do anything. Thanks, Seth. I'm kind of liking this a lot, actually, so I might just forget that everybody's watching us and let's get this good shot. All right, I like this. I'm gonna add a reflector. Why? Because, got one. $185 stand, $3 foam core. Dun, 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 dun. That seems about right. All right, can you guys see that? I'm not sure what they can see. Uh, yeah, you can see that. Let me go to the super, super wide here. Let's go back to here. And then that to there. Nope, that didn't do it. Boop. 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 There we go. All right, so we can see, oh, nope, I didn't switch it back. Oh, there we go. Actually, probably the opposite is better, right? Doot, doot, doot. There it is. Why is it not? There we go. There it is. Okay, it took me a second. Apparently, you got to hit save. All right, here we go. There. Now we got, see, it fills in. Now we got a little more fill. Little fill light from one side, make it a little more even. You get the double catch lights, no extra charge for that. Go ahead and spin slightly this way with your shoulders. Yep, yeah. and then your, your head this way like this, and then your eyes here, and you're just like, whoosh. good. Here we go. All right, and now we've got nice, even, beautiful light. And notice how cleanly the top of her head is cut off too. Hold on, there's, there's always somebody that wants to see the top of their, your head in the shot, so let's, <laughs> let's get that for one person. Because right. they don't think that you have a top of the head otherwise. I thought I had well, it's hard to say unless you see it in the picture. Right there. Boom, there's the top of her head. Just for the person that's asking. I know you're out there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry. All right. <laughs> Hey, Gavin. Gavin Hoey. Hey, Gavin, do you know what this is? Oh, oh you can't see it because I got the wrong camera. Hey, Gavin, I don't know how to work my camera. Hold on, I'm going to switch it now so you can see. Damn it. I will eventually know how to work this. This is why this is an entire job. Can you read that or is it too small? It's probably too small. Huh? 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 Okay, back to this. 
I got that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's do this. What were we doing? What do you want? No. Pictures? <laughs> so, you know. I gotcha. Well, thank you, thank Fair you. enough. Thank you for taking yeah. <laughs> Let me show you another way that you could spend a bunch of money unnecessarily. Because that's what we love to do as photographers. <laughs> you could come over here, right, to this flag that I have. $43 for this flag. And then instead of using it for its proper point, you could just use it as a table for the Brooklyn Reflector. There we go. That's pretty flat, right? All right. We're going to end on a good note. I can feel it. We have no choice. What are you That's saying? right. I mean, we haven't hit a bad note yet, except for when we weren't set up properly. But that was really me, not Farah. All right. What do you think about that? What do you think? She's trying to fix it. Some way there, she's got like, she's like, oh no, it can't be crooked. All right. <laughs> I'm just here to be beautiful. All right, here we go. We're gonna do a butterfly lighting, I think it's called. We're gonna make up something brand new right now on the spot. <laughs> sure. This is all very, uh, we, we, we rehearsed this for like six hours before this, yeah, as you can tell. So much, so much rehearsal went into this. We look so prepared. Yeah, we are so prepared. All right, here we go. Because now I know I'm out of shape too. Lifting this thing up and down is killing me. All right, here we go. So this is gonna throw a light, the sh blah, a shadow directly on the background, but I don't mind. Let's just see what this looks like. I'm in TTL again, straight ahead. I don't know what you were looking at. <laughs> She's looking at something. Shadow directly behind her, right? Why is shadow behind her? Because the shadow is always gonna be where the light's not, right? So, couple options. One, tilt the light more. Might be able to convince the shadow to go lower if we're really nice to it. And of course, because the light's big, we can get away with this. Might lower it a tiny bit. The deal here is I'm trying to get it in close without being in the shot. How's that? Yep, not in the shot. Also, for some reason, I keep showing the top of your head. Nobody wants to see that. Okay, here we go. None of that. All right, here we go. There it is. Pushed it back a little bit. Nice and clean. You know, again, it's back there, but it's soft. I kind of like that, right? It's nice and simple. It's kind of commercial. Let's get you off the wall, though. Let's get rid of that shadow. Let's go with the dark background. No one puts Farrah in the corner. No, not I. I deserve to shine, right? Look at that. That's right. The best. <laughs> she was talking about you. All right. Here we go. Come on forward. Forward? Yep. Okay. Let's get a dark background. This is the one, guys. I'm feeling it. Yep, good. They can see it. Make sure I have it set right before Seth calls me again. Cool, cool, cool. All right, here it is. This is the one. I'm even going to level my camera for this one. This is for all you people that love rule of thirds. I'm going to put her right in the middle. <laughs> so basically, <laughs> right. that's right. We're getting rid of that. All right, so darker background, right? Why? Because the light, right? This is the inverse square. <laughs> All right, sorry. All right, what else is going on here? Egypt, 
Hey, UK in the house, yeah. Uh, okay. I am working hard. I have I've gotten better, very out of shape in the last uh, multiple months of sitting on my butt. <laughs> now I feel like I need to go through one of those like rocky. Uh, you know, in the Rocky movies, like all of a sudden, like there's like five minutes where he's like gets goes from being fat to in shape. He's like punching meat and like running up and down mountains. Basically. Yeah, like if I could just do that for five minutes and be in shape, that'd be good. But I don't think it works like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. I'm putting you in the I'm putting you in the side there, just so you can have some okay. asymmetrical composition. I'm going asymmetrical for you guys. There we go. She likes that better. Yeah, it's nice, right? Nice and simple. You know, you're not going to have that three-dimensionality that you get using multiple lights, but you can definitely, especially, uh, you know, use, actually, let's go with the white background. Now, the white background, of course, is not going to be white because she's far away from it. But now you're really going to hear me breathe heavy. <laughs> Rolling up paper is like the most torturous. I should just have Farrah do it, but... We did. Uh, it says I'm live again. I think I'm live, maybe. Live? Yeah, I think I'm live. Oops. All right, I think we're back, guys. Ooh, it's warm in here. Yeah, hold on. Yep. Yeah. You're up. Okay, good. We can't, this was going to be the best shot ever, too, if we had lost this. Because this is it, man. We're, we're basically, we're coming, we're, we're winding down. This is the time that it gets crazy. All right, we got a white background which is not white because the light's not close to it. It's a little underexposed because TTL is seeing that white background. It's like, what? So I'm going to give myself a little more juice. I just switched to manual and did that. Better. Better, better, better. Now, there's something else that we could do. It's a little crazy. But it might work. Should we try it? I say yeah. We're going for it. We could grab our manual uh, exposure here. I could grab the shutter speed and begin to drop it down. Why would I do that? Well, that's going to bring the ambient light in. So let's see. I'm going to go to a 15th of a second. So this bee's kind of still. There we go. Ooh, all right, all right, all right. Yep, she's still crispy. Background is brighter, right? Background's brighter because I'm dragging the shutter, right? I'm letting the ambient light in. It's touching the background. It's making it brighter, right? Easy as that. <laughs> That's <laughs> Now, you can go too far, and I often do. So let's say that we went down to, I don't know, let's say a half a second. <laughs> or stay really still. What's going to happen is eventually, right, that. That terrible, terrible thing is going to happen. What happened there was she's also in the ambient light, right? So she's also getting brighter as I do this. The only way you can really pull this off uh, successfully to get it much brighter would be to block her, like maybe cards or something, which we're not gonna do, but that's essentially what you'd have to do. So if you're going to mix for that reason, you can take into to account your background, right? So I can, I can basically, let me turn the flash off for a second. Let me just change my exposure. Let's pretend that we're natural light photographers, so we'll shoot wide open, because that's what we do, right? I'm gonna go to F4. I'm just gonna look at my exposure here, and I'm gonna adjust it until it looks yummy. We'll say a 15th of a second. 
Oh, 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 somebody's texting me. Seth, stream res is 240. Huh. Well, it says quality good from here, though. I don't know. Weird. OK, yep. Yep, I'm looking to dismount. It looks like we're getting weird uh, stream quality. Verizon has been happy to like not have to give us internet for the last months that we haven't been here, and now we're using it. And they're like, oh my god. Uh, all right, guys, so we're, get, we're getting this done. OK, now, that is natural available light, right? So the background's kind of white. Farrah's looking good, right? 15th of a second's not so slow that she's going to be all blurry if we hold her still. Now we're going to add the flash, just for a little bit of, that's right, a little bit of pizzazz. pizzazz. Let's fire up the flash. I'm going to go to TTL. I'm going to set it to, I'm just going to leave it and see what happens. Ho, ho, ho. Ha, ha, ha. Now, crispy, right? Controlled light. Natural light, right? Beautiful, crispy flash. Let's do one final shot so we can get out of here. Look how your arms are a little bit blurry because you're moving them, <laughs> which is kind of cool. Yep. And get your hair like this. Project your chin forward like a, yeah. That's it, hold. Since you like the rule of thirds, I'm going to move over a little bit. She's requested that I use the rule of thirds. I'm not really using it, but I'll, I'll use it a little bit. All right. All right, here we go. We're doing it. Powerful. Ooh. Actually, do it with the hair back. Do it, go even further back with the hair. Oh, like, like, the yeah, like, like you're. Oh, like, like so well, keep your chin flat, though. Yeah, you a little flatter. There we go. And then project out like a chicken. There you go. Wow, right? Now we've got. Beautiful, clean light on her. Frozen, right? Not the movie, although it could be. Uh, as opposed to the kind of available light, which is OK, but not really, really good. The thing is, when you're standing in a room like this, the light is everywhere. It's not super interesting. So you can create and manipulate your light to get a cleaner, fresher look and still make it feel really natural, kind of like what we did by the window, kind of like enhancing the natural light. So I think that's pretty good. I think our internet connection is all over the place, so we're going to bail, I think, here. Um, let me just quickly look to see if anybody's saying anything. Yeah, quality is dropping. I don't know what's going on. Sorry, guys. OK. I clapped like Seth. Thanks, guys, for watching. Wow, OK. I'm finally, I'm all loosened up now that we're, we're done. <laughs> Thanks for coming back. Thank you, Farah. I will put Farah's information somewhere. She's not, this is not Farah. Oh, full yeah, this is not Farah, is Farah. Even though it's called, this is not Farah. <laughs> yeah, so you can follow her. <laughs> I'm Taylor Norton, photographer, of course. We will be back soon, hopefully, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Leave any comments below if you have questions, and I shall do my best to answer them. And hopefully, we'll see you in a couple weeks. And I have no idea how to end. I think if I go here, it'll end it. Stop and complete. See you later, guys.